key argument against Curry. So, yes, if you can argue that Curry has more of an offensive impact than Kawhi if you include his scoring and playmaking. But Curry is such a liability defensively. The only way you can win a title with Curry is if you surround him with a top defensive team with multiple top defenders like Draymond Green. You can drop Kawhi on any fucking team. He's obliterating you off the dribble. His efficiency's off the chart. And he's been the best defensive player in the league most of all times. The gap between Kawhi and Steph defensively more than makes up for Steph's better playmaking, and their offense is comparable. That's just mm, the offense is up. not comparable, actually. I don't. Yeah, think yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The offense. It's really not. In the post, in the hold on, hold on, in the postseason, it's comparable, bro. Stop it, bro. No, Curry peaks. Curry peaks. Kawhi. Kawhi. Kawhi is a much better uh, playoff uh, score than Steph Curry that, that's in, in the postseason. So that's much true. better in the regular season. So much better. And he's also great so in the playoffs. Five, the and, he's so much, and he's so much better in the postseason. So what's your and, point? But, but Curry's five? also great. In the, so it, it kind of goes both ways. They're both great. They're, they're bo- but what, what, what matters the most, P5? Is it the postseason or is it the regular season? I, I, th- I think it both matters. No. But, P5, but what matters you think more? regular season is so important, you must think Embiid's the best player in the NBA. I don't think so. Mm. I don't and B, and B, but Brandon, and B, and B, and B didn't have the best goal scoring. Mm. And B, and B didn't have the best goal scoring. Yo, yo, I, I think actually think had the best Curry, regular season. So that Curry, point is I think what Curry's able to do as a playmaker, both, I think what Curry's able to do as a playmaker, especially off the ball, far exceeds Kawhi. Better than he's also far. Yeah, nobody cares about. Yeah, yeah, but I think, I think, I think Kawhi, like absolutely, clear the shooter. Absolutely, much more efficient, especially. He's not, he don't clear. He don't. Hold on, first of all. Hold on, first of all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. First of all, Brand up P five. To sit there and say he clears him as a shooter is 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 crazy. Like Steph is a better shooter, but clearing for a guy that's shooting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kawhi shooting fifty forty. Much better mid range shooter than Steph. Hold on, hold on. Kawhi shooting 50, 40, 80 in the postseason. That's not compared to what Steph efficiently. Steph Kawhi's much efficient in the postseason, bro. Much efficient. And that, you say that's... yes, Steph. Yes, Steph is a better shooter. I'm not. I'm not denying that. You sit there and say it clears him. And then if you look at Kawhi's playmaking, like Kawhi's just going to <laughs> Kawhi's just going to Clippers have become a very very good playmaker, bro. So to sit there and say that dragging Steph Curry just clear this is not dragging it. Yeah, and, that's, and that's and that's not his peak. That is his peak offensively. Clippers offensive. not his peak. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. That's no, not you, a can't peak. you can't. You can't like use two different like peaks, man. Like you can't, can't use two different peaks. Yeah. When when is Kawhi's peak? Off? We're making super Kawhi out here. Yeah, Ka- 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 Kawhi's peak. Kawhi's peak off. Kawhi's peak offensively. Overall, like overall, not not offensively. Overall, I would say 2021. Chad, did he just say that? Chad, you, know, Mookie, you said, hold on, Mookie, you said a while ago that it was from Chad, 2017 like, to like 2000. I don't, I don't think it's when he won the title in Toronto. It's actually 2019 to 2023. Is it from 2019 to 2021? That's his feet. Yeah, I think it's 2023. 2023. But Mookie was like 2019 to 2023. But even Steph, even Steph. Might be good off ball. He he's a better playmaker, right? Uh, Kawhi is, is be better. Crazy. Kawhi Kawhi is a better isolation player than Steph Curry. Okay, he's, that's he's facts. But that, hold on, that's because because he can hold on, hold on because because he can get to his spots with ease. And on top of that, Kawhi is a better post player. He's a better mid range scorer than Steph Curry. He's a better mid range shooter than Steph Curry as well, right? Because he's taking on a higher volume. He's a better mid range player. And on top of that, even though Steph is better off ball, I I, don't, I think when we look at it from the defensive gap. It's okay, much, much, defense. much, much higher, bro. Defense. Like, I, think, I, I don't think their yeah, offense. Kawhi can the, handle physical it, defense is much better, too, it is. which is very hard. Uh, yeah. All right, so playoffs. can – Yo, Brandon, Brandon, right. so can you explain so, why you got so, Kawhi? So, 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 before Kawhi, so before Kawhi got hurt in this playoffs, Kawhi was averaging 34.5 points, 6.5 rebounds. That's not peak. That's not peak. not the mention. That's not his peak. That's not his peak. That's not his peak. That nigga was But I'm saying, but that's two games. What do you mean by peak? You talking about like the numbers by numbers or like what? No, well, was he at his best as a player? Hey, KJ, KJ, KJ. Did you sit there and What's say? What's the most he ever averaged in the That's why I hate debating for Kawhi. Cause Mookie gonna take some shit I said in the Hold on, KJ, KJ. Then you, then you sat there and said, KJ, Kawhi Leonard from from the last since 2017 for players to average over like 30. He's 25. the most efficient player. Oh, the players who average 25. He's the most efficient out of players that average in 25. 
So he's even much efficient than Steph Curry. He's even a much in, better in defender. In he's a yeah in the playoffs. He's okay. even much efficient than Steph Curry in the playoffs. He's even much better as a rebounder, and he's much better as a defender, bro, as well. Bro, Kawhi's just more impactful than Steph in the postseason, bro. He is. I just think the gap. I, I just think the gap in playmaking and shooting, and especially regular season efficiency, is just so far. Like I. Yeah. Like, I, I think you're, you're and, and the defensive Curry. gap is so far. So what's you're, your you're underselling Curry because Curry to me peaks as a top three, top five defender, or off uh, offensive player the, of all time. Think Curry better than the 2016, 2019 Kawhi better than the 2016 Curry. Yes, yes. yes. No, incorrect. That's what wrong. Oh, P P by three was hurt that year. He had the MCL. Incorrect. Spring. Incorrect. Oh, I mean, Kawhi edged the one the championship. Oh, Steph Curry beat him in 2016. 2019 Kawhi is better than 2016 Curry. Oh, no, 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 no. Overall, overall, he was a much better PS5, defender. And I think that that closed the gap. And the offense is comparable. Defender, yes, but Curry was a far better offensive player. Far. Better. No, he was not. He was not a far better offensive player. Stop it. No, he was not. The offensive the offensive gap is not big, bro. Stop. It's, it's, what? It's not they're, about, they're, about, they're, they're on a Kurt Kawhi is just as good as Curry offensively, bro. No, he is bro, you capping yes, now. Yes, 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 now you capping. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kawhi never average. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 the most points scored in the postseason run, third, third right behind uh, LeBron and Jordan. <laughs> He's up there with uh, Jordan and Kareem with the with the uh, third most points scored in the playoff series. You don't see Steph on these lists, bro. But who? Hold on, hold on, Mookie, Mookie. Wait, between Steph and Kawhi, who got a higher Kawhi, points Kawhi, in the finals? Kawhi Leonard, who got a higher points in the finals? 2018, 2019, went from averaging what 27 with the leap efficiency in the in the, in the um in the um regular season. To thirty with even much better efficiency with the elite level defense. Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi in twenty nineteen, right? Um, thirty points on 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 elite volume with sixty. What was it? Sixty five percent true shooting percent. Kawhi. Make it the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Steph Curry literally had the greatest oh, whoa, whoa. offensive whoa, whoa. season we've ever Kawhi's seen from a player, team, and we're just gonna man. act like that's nothing. Curry, Curry did not have, or Kawhi, I, I'm sure did not have a 65 percent shoot shooting in the regular season. It was, it was up there. Hold on, let me look it up. I'm look it up. Kawhi it in, the was, in 2019, it was 60, it was like 60. You know, 60. No, it was, it was 60. It was 62 percent. It was 60 on the dot in the regular season, Mookie. I'm looking at it right now. In the postseason, yeah, it was 60 on the dot in the nigga. regular season, oh, yeah, and it was 62 percent in the postseason. That's your only argument. Now, now let me. Yeah, bring yeah. Up Stephen Curry. And he was much better in the postseason. Now, let me bring up Stephen Curry's efficiency in the in the postseason. I'm about to bring up bring his up. efficiency in the postseason. Try to speak it out out loud. Now, what was Steph Curry's true shooting percentage in the playoffs that year? I'm trying to find it. I'm, I'm, I'm I got it. Board. It was. It I'm was. It was. It, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It was in 2015, the 16 that year, right? His true yeah. shooter percentage was 60.3. Kawhi Leonard was 61.9. So that was 62 percent. You're cooked. And, and Kawhi, Steph Curry was injured in that postseason. What is the point? Steph Curry was injured in that postseason. This thing is a Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. What matters the most? He always gets high when he gets. Hold on, hold on. Steph Curry's true. Steph Kawhi's true shooting percentage was much better in the playoffs. He averaged more points. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not much better. It was better. He averaged more points than and Steph Curry's Curry. regular season, and, and, and his volume was much, was better. much better. So, Mookie, hold on, 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 hold you're cook and he still produce better efficiency and better volume. You're telling me that Curry, who's averaging 30 in the regular season on 68% true shooting, oh my god, seven percent higher. I'd rather have Leonard, but I will also averaging more points and being a much better playmaker. And I and I hold on, and I and hold on, hold on, and I rather and I rather have I rather have average 30 in a whole postseason run. A whole postseason run by playing over 20, 25, 24 goddamn games, right? And and with the elite volume, 
with elite efficiency, with elite defenses, and the degree of difficulty was much, much better, right? Because Kawhi faced more elite-level defensive units than Steph Curry throughout their whole entire playoff run. He was much more efficient than Steph Curry in the NBA Finals, right? In the NBA and finals. and any average more points, so I, I would rather take Kawhi. So you the so, so, so you want so you want a small so you want a, so you want you you would rather take a month month and a half sample size. I rather I rather have that in the most because the playoffs matters the most. I'd rather have that the most because the playoffs, the playoffs, the playoffs matters the most. The playoffs matters. He's still if you're, if, if, and, and on top of that, on top of that, Kawhi Bro, made he history. The playoffs. He was still uh, but he was not better than Kawhi's. Kawhi's in the postseason. Curry season, was far man. better than Kawhi's uh, season. He was not far better than Oh, shit. Better. And Kawhi was far better in the postseason. So what's your point? He was not far better. Yes, he was. Oh, shit. The defense, the, 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 the defense no, was far better. Hold on, hold on. The defense was far better. The scoring was far point, the more defense. better. Kawhi, Kawhi far, far, yeah, yes, it was. Kawhi is giving you about five more points on better efficiency. You're cooked in. And he and faces Curry better defense. You level playmaking, elite level efficiency, on elite level floor spacing. And you telling me Kawhi, hold on. And you telling me Kawhi, hold on. And you telling me Kawhi's playmaking is not setting up guys like Pascal Siakam like he did not in game one. Not to the level of Steph Curry, no. Kawhi, hold on, hold on. Not and Steph Curry, Steph and, and Steph Curry, Curry no. and Steph Curry, and Steph Curry is not producing some of the best playoff defenses we ever seen in NBA history. Now he's not doing defense, that. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, Hold on, hold on. He's the not defense. anchoring. He's not. Hold on, hold on. He's not anchoring some of the best playoff defenses in NBA history. Kawhi Leonard had the responsibility of doing that. On top of that, he had the responsibility of creating for guys like Siakam, create guys like Fred Van Vliet, create guys like Danny Green, and he's doing it with with, with 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 elite rebounding production, and he's doing it by being way more efficient. Elite and he's scoring five, and, and and he's uh, and he's scoring five more points. You're cooked. Oh. 